Hello, my name is James Smith. Today uh, I want to show you the square of nine. Uh, my company is, by the way, uh, GANanalysis.net. You can reach me if you send me an email, James Smith at GANanalysis.net or my website, www.GANanalysis.net. Today I want to show you a real time example of the square of nine as it's applied to platinum. And I say real time because most of what you see out there are people providing canned examples of things that happened a year ago or two years ago where they give you a perfect example of something they know worked because it's already finished. I want to show you something in real time. So here we go. Uh, what is the square of nine? Uh, you start at one at the center and you rotate outward and the reason it gets the name square of nine is because by the time you complete one full circle, that's 360 degrees, that is the square of nine. That's And, and then you continue on to infinity. So if you notice here, 9, 25, 49, 81, you can see a pattern. If you take nine, take the square root, that's three, add two, that gives you... 5, you square it, you get 25. Same idea here. Square root of 25 is 5. Add 2, that's 7. Square it, you get 49. And it, so that's the formula. It works out uh, very evenly on this uh, diagonal here. Same idea works over here, but you know, you're going to get fractions. But the concept is very simple and it goes to infinity so even though i stop it here i could keep going right so you don't have to stop at what i've done here it's just i just want to show you it's a little more easy to see when you have fewer numbers on the page and also you might notice north south east west um these anything that falls on the the uh, iron cross what we're calling the iron cross is considered a cardinal level and GAN believed that cardinal levels are more important support of resistance. So if a market rallies to 96 and then it falls back to 61 and you know it, it can it can vibrate to these numbers. So anytime it's a cardinal level you want to follow it closely but actually any number here is also important for another reason you can change the start point instead of starting from one at the center you could start at in this case platinum 1348 which is the high now if we go back here and we expand this out uh, do a few more uh, levels okay <clears throat> 1348 is down here let me see if i can find it um, 1347, 1348. Okay. So you can see there, 1348. And one other thing I haven't told you about yet is that if you take this as a high, you can line it up and see where the market is in relation to time. Okay. It says September 13th. That's today. So 1348 was the high. And we're actually square or 90 degrees time and price. So from the price of 1348, it forms a perfect square or a 90 degree angle to September 13th, which is kind of cool, but it gets better. Um, if you look at the low, let's go back to the other chart. You can see the low here at 943. Um, these horizontal lines are replicating what you see on the square of nine. So if we start at 1348, and if you see it here, if you go one revolution inward, uh, in other words, 360 degrees, that would be 1205. So what you have here is 1205. That's 360 degrees. 180 degrees is just half the distance. So um, what you might notice right away is that we got a high here at the 180 degree line. 
another high at the next lower 180 degree line and right now it appears that we have a low at 943 or at least at the very least a temporary low it looks kind of good right now now going back to the square of nine you can see 1348 1205 1070 943 See that it's not quite exact. It's probably 943 and a half. So if we go back here, 943.58. So that's why you get that. That's how that that's how it works. So this is just an easier way of showing the levels against the market so that you can see what's really going on. Um, but it all derives from this square of nine chart, which I showed you here, and you can take degrees of movement from the high or from a low. Notice 943 is also square with uh, September 13th, which is today, right? So the high and the low are square or 90 degrees to time, which is September 13th. So this is really kind of interesting. Even if you have no interest in GAN, you have to marvel at the fact that how did this guy come up with this in the first place? Well, apparently the square of nine, um, it goes back millennia, right? Again, didn't invent it. Apparently religious people came up with it thousands of years ago uh, in India and other places. You've seen the square of nine and you're going like, wow, that's pretty cool. Um, but you can read up on the square of nine. I'm not going to give you everything today, but I just wanted to show you a real time example so you'd understand what people are talking about when they mention the square of nine from GAN. Um, in this case, three revolutions, each red line is a 360 degree line. So if you start from the high at, at as we told you, 1348 and you do one revolution, two revolution, three revolutions, you will arrive at that level, 943. 943 is uh, three times 360 degrees down from high. So that's, that's kind of interesting. Um, and you say, well, does it work every time? No, you can see here, look, it took it out. You, you could have said, oh, I think it's going to find support here. Well, it didn't. So it's not going to work every time. So I'm not telling you to rush out and buy platinum. I'm just telling you that this is a real-time example. It sometimes works. It sometimes doesn't. But you can see here you got a sort of a high, a low, sort of a high. You know, it, it's not always precise. So it, you know, took this out slightly, but on a closing basis, it's respected the level. Pretty much the same thing here. It's looking like a very interesting setup. Um, and from a, there's a lot more that I would like to show you. This is just one small example. I wanted to show you how the square of nine works in relationship to a market where things are happening in real time. Not a canned example, because that's what a lot of people do. They, they show you perfect examples uh, because they don't want to stick their neck out. I'm saying I think this is probably a low, but if you were trading it, obviously you'd have to trade with a stop loss because, you know, sometimes you get it wrong. And, it, you know, you bought it at, say, 951 and suddenly it's down at 930 or, and then it goes down to 883. So you probably have a stop right in here someplace and you'd be careful that, you know, you don't risk the, you know, don't bet the ranch. Uh, keep your size small and you know as you go up then maybe you can increase your position if you have more confidence but um, this is just a very quick and dirty example of platinum futures showing you the October contract in real time and if you're interested um, come to my website James, okay, www.ganalysis.net. If you register, you get uh, some older free reports where you can, you can look at a variety of markets, stocks, forex, commodities, bonds, crypto, 
I give you uh, sample reports on all of those markets in a section called free reports for anyone who registers to the website. And, or you can send me an email, James Smith at GANanalysis.net. Always happy to talk about the markets with people who are interested in GAN. And, you know, there's plenty of things going on right now. I, I'm telling you, now is the perfect time to be looking at the markets through the lens of GAN. Because GAN focuses on the idea of time and price. It's always looking for setups where the market will change in trend because it's in balance. And when I say in balance, in, in this case, you have a 30 solar degree count from this low to this low, 260 trading days um, from this low here to what could be a low. And these are not just random numbers. 216 is a big GAN number because if you think about GAN, 72, 144, 216, uh, big numbers, 72 was a big number for GAN. Of course, 144 was hugely important. 60 calendar days, that's a big deal. So when you get a cluster of GAN cycles coming due at the same time you have price support from the square of nine, you have a setup. You're looking for a change in trend. So time and price are in balance. And one of the mistaken notions people have is because they listen to economists who say the markets are random and you can't, you know, random walk theory, you can't beat the market. Gann had just the opposite view. He said that markets will trend and then when they're ready to change trend, you will have a balance between time and price. So you'll get a cluster of Gann cycles telling you that there's potential for a low and you're, maybe you're oversold and you bounce off of a square nine level, or it could be a GAN line, any number of GAN tools will provide that price support. And then when you rally, um, once you take out this next higher level at 1006, then you'll say, oh, okay, maybe we're starting an uptrend. So maybe that doesn't happen, but if it takes it out, you would get more bullish. So it's a very simple concept, but I'm sure people overlook this and they think there's nothing to GAN. I'm just scratching the surface with you today. This is really just a, a very small example. Uh, there's a lot of tools with GAN. This is just one tool. And if you subscribe to my service, I'm doing a special three-month trial subscription at a reduced rate. Um, register, check out the website, hit the shop button. You can see how much I'm charging and see if you want to go for it you know i'm telling you there's no better time to be doing gan or following the market according to the rules of gan than right now there's a lot happening uh, there's a lot coming up good luck in your trading thanks for your time hope to see you register at the website and uh, uh, send me an email thanks for your time